This is Main Street with Constance. I am Constance Lyles Brown Willingham. During this COVID season, how are you coping with the stress at home? Past information studies have found that people that are at home, especially during bad weather, foul weather for extended periods of time, they don't know how to cope with dealing, being at home with the family. They're used to being out and not having to deal with whatever goes on at home all the time. So how are you taking care of yourself during this time period? You can, it can be stressful. Have mercy. Can it be stressful? So there are a lot of things you can do. Listening to music, jazz, country, gospel, dance music. If you've got a good dance partner, or maybe that's something you could do with the kids. Teach them how to dance. Do some of the crazy dances from back in the day. It's a good way to unwind. Eat healthy foods. It's nothing like maybe before we had COVID, you were getting a lot of uh, fast foods, stuff you throw in the microwave, all that sort of stuff. Need to help, eat healthy so you can stay healthy. That's very important. And get enough rest. Relax. Reading. They have audio books. You can even check some out at the library electronically. If you want to download, check out a book. You don't have to go to the library. You can get it. So that's interesting. Reading, listening to music, or start a new hobby. So when you quarantine at home, your daily activities and going out, having a routine is helpful. You know, you know what you you regularly schedule in your day, and each day is not the same. It's a little different. When you interact with others, you're trying to reduce the spreading of the disease, and interaction should be limited. Mask, those things. Safe practices, preventive actions. You got a cough, cold. I have a lot of allergies. So I have to monitor mine really carefully because it impacts your immune system. And that's one of the things. So I mentioned the face mask. Oh, I did have some tissues here and hand sanitizer, but I think they rolled off onto the floor somewhere. But have those with you all the time. People are at increased risk for severe illnesses. And you need to think about the people around you. We have older adults. 60s or 70s, this age group is higher at a higher risk for severe illnesses, more so than people in their 50s. And based on some of the CDC's guidelines and some of the testing and research they're doing, they've lowered that number. They found that people in their 50s are at a higher or toward severe illness than people in their 40s. So before we talked about people at 60 and above Yes, they are still at a greater risk. People at the 50 level and above, the risk is not as severe, but the risk is still there. So taking care of yourself, drinking plenty of water, exercise, and going outdoors occasionally, outside of your house, walking around, things like that, getting fresh air, that helps you kind of relax, feel mellow, chill out. And then go back inside and maybe listen to some more music, movies, that sort of thing. So whatever it takes for you to cope with all the changes and reduce your stress levels, that will help your immune system and your other issues also. We just want you to be safe. Take care. Hey, everybody. Stay tuned right here for more information for Ain Street with Constance. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative, your full-service telecommunications provider right here in the Sequatchie Valley.